Burglary, likely the motive after a minivan plows into a Littleton bar and restaurant. This was not open at the time, thank goodness, of the crash. It happened this morning at the boardroom bar at Dry Creek and Broadway. Our Rick Salinger arrived on scene, and Rick, those who were involved, got away. Well, they got in a way, at least for now, in an operation that seems more likely for a bank robbery than for a bar robbery. This is not a drive-in, but some brazen thieves turned the boardroom into one. This is a sad day for us, um, and I have no idea how long, how, how long we'll be out. Using a stolen minivan, the burglars slammed through the front door. Before the dust had time to settle, two people clothed in hoodies made straight for the ATM and cash register. They seemed to know right where to go. It appears that they do know that there may have been some money in that register. Um, I have four registers, and that register was the only one that had money. Apparently not satisfied with their initial effort, the thieves then back a pickup truck into the ATM. You can see two people going for the cash, while a third person may very well have served as the getaway driver of the pickup. He was last seen southbound on Broadway. Those who came by were stunned to see a car that had been running inside. I don't think you can do this by accident. It would be hard to drive into this building on accidents. What happened here was clearly no accident. Here it is again, a carefully planned smash and grab. It's not certain how much, if anything, they got from the ATM, but the cash register only had enough for employees to make change. The minivan will be scrutinized to see if the thieves left any kind of calling card like fingerprints or DNA behind. The estimated damage here, fifty to dollars to $100,000, but they are open for business right now, and you can't say they don't have a sense of humor. Live in Littleton, Rick Salinger, covering Colorado First. All right, Rick, thank you.